Hey guys, welcome back to my booth. Today I'll be unboxing this $20 Arduino kit which I received from Gearbest. I'll show you all the components that are in there and then I'll make it perform the simplest of functions to start my Arduino journey with. That will be making an LED blink. Now what exactly is Arduino? Well, you must have seen those green color chips inside of toys and electronics. Those are pre-programmed for their intended use. Arduino is similar to this, but the only difference is that you can program it yourself to do anything simply by connecting it to your computer and using the software that comes along with it to program a code onto it. And by anything, I mean anything. You should just go and visit the Instructables Arduino page and see what all kinds of projects people have done with it. Automatic plant watering systems, burglar alarms, and whatnot. And it's not just the chip, there are tons of different components and sensors that are made especially for Arduino. So let's see what this kit holds. Well, first of all it comes in a neat little plastic box. Which says a basic learning kit for Arduino. And below that it says case, which is the brand name. That's pretty much it on the outside of the box. Let's open it up and see what's inside. First and foremost, the Arduino Uno Revision 3 board. Now this is the simplest board you can find out there and it's perfect for beginners. And it's not the original Arduino, it started from Italy. This is a Chinese copy of it. If you go to buy the original one from Arduino's website, you will probably end up paying around $20 or something for just this one board. Here you're getting the whole kit for that amount. So I would suggest if you want to get into learning Arduino, you better start with this and then you can move on to the legit stuff. It says Funduino here. It's kind of funny. However, I have to say the quality of this looks pretty solid. If I show you this and a picture of the legit Arduino R3, you probably cannot make out the difference, except for the Funduino part. It has a lot of components, all of which I'm not really familiar with yet, but these are for power output. This is a microprocessor and it seems like I can unmount it and replace it with another one in case it blows up. There is a USB port here and a power input port over here and there's a reset button on the top. Next is a breadboard. Now if you've worked with electronics before then you know how helpful these are. You can make a whole circuit on it without having to solder anything. You can directly plug in the components or the jumper wires into the board and that is why it comes with a bunch of these wires which have jumpers at the end of them so you don't have to struggle with inserting wires into the breadboard. Then we have a battery pack it works with six 1.5 volt batteries, that's 9 volts in total, and can be plugged into the UNO board. So you can basically program the board from your computer and then take it any way you want. The battery pack will supply the power. You can also use one 9 volt battery instead. But for that you'll need a 9 volt battery connector. A USB cable, 15 LEDs, 5 each of blue, yellow and red color, 8 resistors of 220 ohms, 5 1 kilo ohm resistors and 5 10 kilo ohm resistors. In this little packet over here we have 4 button switches and an active and a passive buzzer or you can call it a speaker. The main difference is that an active buzzer works with DC voltage and the passive one needs AC voltage to make a sound and you can control the sound according to the AC voltage you supply. There's another small packet over here and this one has 3 photoresistors their uh, resistance changes according to the light conditions they are exposed to. Two tilt switches, also known as rolling ball switches or just ball switches. A flame sensor, a temperature sensor and an infrared receiver. There's an RGB LED, uh, an LED basically that can glow in different colors. A remote control which basically emits infrared signals. So maybe I can use this in line with the infrared receiver and the multicolor LED and program it in such a way that pressing different buttons on the remote will make the LED glow in different colors. Because let's face it, where's the fun in an electronics project if there aren't any flashing lights or sounds? There is also a variable resistor, which initially I thought was a motor. Two single seven segment displays and a longer one as well. An 8x8 dot matrix display. This can display more than just numbers, so that's helpful. And to make these displays work, they've also provided a serial shift interface. The number for this specific chip is 74H595. That is pretty much the whole kit. In my opinion, it is a very comprehensive kit and is more than enough for anyone who is just starting with Arduino, especially for a price tag of $20. How durable it is? Well, I guess I'll find out over a course of time and can let you know in my future videos. 
I've provided a link for it in the description below in case you want to check it out. Now let's make an LED blink. First of all, we need the coding software for Arduino. So head back to your computer and go to www.arduino.cc. Now click on the software tab and here you can see the latest version Arduino IDE 1.8.1. This version works fine, but it will show an error sometimes when uploading the code to the chip. So after a little bit of research, I found out that an older version of this software will work better with this chip. So I suggest you download that first and if you have any issues, then you can switch to the newer one. For that one, you have to come down to where it says previous releases and below that, click on all Arduino 00xx versions. On this page, come down to version 0022 and then select which operating system you have. I will click on Windows. Once the download has completed, unzip the file and install it. Actually, you don't have to install anything. It's like a portable version of the file and uh, you just have to double click on the exe file to open it. It's the latest version that you have to go through with the installation process. Now connect your Arduino to your computer using the USB cable. You can see that this little green light is on, which means it is working. After the Arduino driver has finished installing, I'll go ahead and grab an LED. You can see it has a long and a short leg. The shorter one is negative, which will go into the ground terminal on the Uno. It says GND right here. And the longer one will go to 13, which is just next to it. I can do the same thing using the breadboard as well by using any of the other terminals from 1 to 13, but this is a simpler way to demonstrate it. Now with my LED in place and my board connected to the computer, let's head back to the coding software. Launch it and here you will see a blank sketch where you can start a new project. If you go to file and then examples, you will see lots and lots of basic code templates already pre-coded and ready to be uploaded. Under basics, there is one called blank. Just click on it and a new window will open up. This has the code for blank. On the top it has some comments and below you have the actual code. Even the code has two parts, a setup which is the top part and a loop below it. If you read here, the loop says turn the LED on, then wait for one second, then turn LED off, wait for one second and this loop will continue on and on until you stop it or it runs out of power. Now that the code is ready, I'll go to tools just to make sure that the right kind of board is selected. Under tools, boards and the selected board is Arduino Uno. That's right. I'll go to ports as well just to make sure and it says COM5 with a tick next to it. That means my Arduino board is connected to COM5 port of my computer. So we are all good now. I'll click on this right facing arrow which is for upload and there it is. It's blinking. And I also got to know which LEDs are blue in the pack. You can see the built-in LED is also blinking exactly in sync with the blue one. Now if I go back to my code and change where it says 1000 to 100, that means I am reducing the interval from 1000 milliseconds to 100 milliseconds, the LED should blink faster and 5 times in 1 second. I'll click upload and there you go. It's blinking faster. Add on a couple more LEDs and beepers and you have your own spaceship. By the way, I should be using a resistor in series with the LED so it doesn't blow up. But since I'm not letting it run for that long, so it's kind of safe. That's all for now guys. Let me know in the comments below what you would like to do with an Arduino kit like this one. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button below and subscribe to my channel for more gadget reviews, life hacks and facts. Make sure you follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and Instructables. Click on the thumbnails to watch my other videos or check out my YouTube channel for more. And as always, thanks for watching.